Hey YouTube, I'm Ty Condress there with more action figure reviews and this is for the DC, Spin Masters DC Batman Bat Tech Motor Tank uh, Bane vs Batman set. Now I picked this up at uh, my local Tesco, I didn't expect to actually see it there. Um, it was the same place I picked up the Harley Quinn figure and I went back there just to see what else they had and I looked out in the fact that I've got not only this set, I also managed to find the hard to find be, um, Deathstroke figure, which I will do a review of in a separate review. So this set is, it's interesting enough. Um, I'll just go through the box first. It comes with a, a plethora of accessories for Batman. It comes with two figures, Bane and Batman, and it comes with a uh, bike tank thing. It's called a moto tank. So it's like a motorbike tank. Flipping around to the back of the box. There's not much on the box. If I just angle my camera up a bit, you can see an image of that tanky bike thing. Um, it just shows Batman and Robin in the Batcave. It doesn't showcase anything of the figures that are in the set. Um, and then it just has all the legalese stuff. And then on the bottom, it has more legalese stuff. So it has DC logo on the front, has an image of Batman on the side, and that same image of Batman is replicated on the opposite side. So there's not much for the box, but I will say there is quite a lot of stuff in the box. So we'll, I'll get the accessories out of the way first before I go on with the figures and the main attraction, because the accessories are pretty much what we've seen before, just done in a slightly different color bear with me as i angle down my camera so you get this bat shield that separates into two bat knives so it connects together has a handle on the back batman can hold it <clears throat> you get two grapple launchers um you get one which is the classic one that came with the first style batman i think this is the one that they packed in with robin uh, for a while so that you have two optional grapple launchers he also comes with two large, or two batarangs. He actually comes with four batarangs, but they are two different designs. So you get two of this design. And then you get two of these larger designs. You get this bat gauntlet with these batarang, built on batarangs. I think the idea is that he fires these out of the gauntlet. You have this big buzzsaw thing with another kind of batarang design on it all done in this translucent blue you get a backpack for him which is a supposed to be like a backpack uh a jet pack type thing and it plugs straight into his back and you get two other accessories a sword which has been reused a good few times now i think a couple of them came with let me just get the camera to focus on it which it doesn't want to yes. come on focus uh, it's the same sword that comes with both the Rob, some of the Robin figures. I, it came with one of the villain characters. I'm trying to remember which one it came with, <clears throat> and it came it comes with the Deathstroke figure as well. And then you get this bat grenade launcher. Who people have said it's supposed to be a weapon for King Shark. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be for Batman. It has fins on it, bat fins on it, but you can use it for either King Shark or for Batman. <clears throat> uh, excuse me yeah. so you get a as i said a large pile of weapons now what is interesting but just quickly before i go on about the figures um spin master sent out a set a review sample set of this to some reviewers now i was watching one and i commented on his video for brad the dc or brad the dc universe geek um the set that he got, which was, a, I think it was like a promo set, it only came with that uh, launcher and the backpack piece. It didn't seem to come with all the other weapons. Now, I'm not sure if they did a running change before it was initially released, just to give a bit more bang for buck. But <clears throat> it just seems like some some people got some very little accessories. It could depend on the market as well. There might be differences for like... Because I know Brad is Canadian, so he could have a different. They could have a different setup for Canada. I got mine locally, so over here in Europe, we could have a different version of it. Or like, 
the vehicle itself and the figures, I think, as far as I can tell, are, identi are identical to the one that he has. The only difference is the accessory count is a lot bigger on the one that I picked up locally. So there is that. So onto the Batman figure. Now this is another repaint of the Bat-Tech Batman figure. Um, the initial Bat-Tech one, I think, has the translucent legs and arms and stuff. There's, I think this guy's been used three times in the two packs. So the first two pack that I know of, there was a Deathstroke versus Batman set, which comes with a kind of another sort of one-man vehicle tank thing. I don't have that, I haven't seen it anywhere. Uh, but that version of Batman has translucent uh, legs and arms. And he comes with a whole bunch of translucent weapons just like those. This is the one that came with the Bat Flyer set. Um, you, so you can see it's a reuse of the same body, just different paint apps. So you have uh, less me metallics and same color baby blue, but less metallics. Figure wise, it's the identical sculpt. It's just the paint apps are different. So there is that. This is the one that came with the Mr. Freeze set. So it's Batman, it was Batman versus Mr. Freeze. And it came with a kind of a one man flying vehicle. Uh, so articulation wise, these figures have generally the same articulation. So we have shoulders can rotate all the way around that much. You've got single joint at the elbow with a rotation, nothing in the wrists, splits that much, forward kick, back kick, upper thigh swivel, knee joint with a knee swivel, nothing in the ankles, nothing in the waist, nothing in the torso, and head is on a ball joint, but the most you can get is a swivel out of it. It's not a kind of a dynamic ball joint, it's just an up and down, or sorry, a side to side swivel. He, they all sport these kind of capes that are kind of, the best way to describe them is they're not kind of a soft material, but they're kind of a, almost a papery material is the best way to describe it. Oh, and he does have two peg holes on the bottom of his feet. So if you have anything with peg holes on it, which I don't at the moment, you should be able to stand them up on those. And onto the Bang figure. It's Bang, you know it's Bang. Um, it's the really cool Bang figure from this set. This is pretty much what people want to get from this set and the bike. Uh, the Batman, again, is as I said, is a repaint of an existing one. So the main draw for this set is Bane himself. And it's a really nicely sculpted Bane. You can see, I can get the camera to focus in on his head. Which would be nice. Come on. Yeah, man. Right, let me see if I can rub that. Come on, camera. It doesn't want to focus if I do it this way. So... It's really nicely sculpted. It is on a swivel, so it's not hindered. Some of the kind of larger figures have hint, uh, slightly different articulation. This guy, for the most part, has the same articulation as the rest of the line. So he has the arms can swing out. It's not too, his arms aren't hindered by the pipes. They did it nice enough that you can make the pipes look like they're connected in a certain way and stuff like that. But like, it does cut. There's um, cuts where the joints are, so, you do lose that again no rotation in the wrist like just like with batman now his legs are the main difference between uh batman and the rest of the figures or figure in the set so he doesn't have the ankle joint he does have side to side splits and forward and back and upper thigh swivel and that is something that they kind of did for some of the more larger figures they omitted a ankle joint i'm not sure why Maybe it's just the cost cutting for the extra size of the figure. But overall, he's really nicely sculpted. He has the venom tanks on his back. So he can pump the venom into him. He's very... I wouldn't. He's not top-heavy, because he does stand quite nice. He's just very top-heavy in the sense that his proportions are a lot bigger on his... Uh, he has like pretty much the same, articul or same proportions on his legs as he does as Batman. But he's waist from the waist up he's super buff so he's quite a big muscular muscular dude um i do like the fact that his mask has like a zipper thing going on the top of the head so it looks like like it could have been removable in some of the other bane figures i know they have like the luchador style mask where it's like a complete piece whereas this one looks like he can actually remove it which is quite a nice uh, nod and the 
paint apps on him are pretty nice. They're pretty minimal, but he's nice enough for the most part. He's like just molded in black plastic, but he has like the silver belt buckle, the green for the venom going into from his arm into his well, from the tanks into the arms into the back of his head. And you have the white mask with the red eyes, and the red eyes look pretty sweet as well. And then onto the last thing in this vehicle set is the vehicle itself. So this is a pretty sweet looking bat cycle type thing. Uh, it is on tread, so it's like a bat tread or whatever they called it on the box. Was it motor tread? Um, it has two handles for Batman to hold. It's done in that kind of baby blue, black and silver. There's not too much paint apps on it, as in like stuff here could have been done in silver for the weapons and stuff. It looks like it has two machine guns on it or uh, rubber bullet launchers because Batman doesn't kill. It has like a big battering ram looking thing or maybe it's an electroshock uh, battering ram thing on the front of it. There's exhausts on the back that would have been nice if they were painted. It has the iconic sort of bat motif wings going on the one downside i will say about it is if when you flip it around there's a lot of unsightly screw holes on the side of it it would have been nice if they could have gotten away with holding it together with the bottom there it is if i bring in the other bat cycle that they released they were actually able to get away with the screw holes being in where the wheel arches are and you don't notice them as much so like if i flip it around you can see it's like where the wheel hubs are you don't see it that much but for a size comparison the old bike is a lot is a good bit dwarfed by the new one it's a lot longer this one does have a look of that um mcfarlane bike that's coming out or has come out with the big long front on it and i think that's from one of the things called the white knight trilogy series of comics um it does have that look to it but that is actually a bike. It actually has wheels as opposed to tank treads. Uh, tank treads are done in that baby blue. A, a bit of an unsightly color for it. There is embedded wheels, so the tank treads aren't actually, they're only um, for show. They're not actually for, it does roll quite nicely. I did, didn't did roll it over this side. It has a foot peg on it, but it does roll. And Batman fits on it quite nicely indeed. So, let me just get him back in. You, know, you have to you know, jam his hands. I haven't heated up his hands that much to put him on the hand pegs, but he will sit on it quite nicely. So you can get him to ride the bike pretty well. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick video review for the Batman versus Bane set or the was it Moto Tank. Yeah, Moto Tank Bane versus Batman set. It's a really good um, figure set if you can pick them up. Um, I think. They might be, I'm not sure if they were exclusive on the Target website or they might have been on the Walmart website, but I know they should be available in the US e easier than they were over here. I did see them up on Amazon, but some of the um, some of the sellers on Amazon had jacked up the prices on it. Um, I didn't see like a direct from Amazon sale for it. Uh, they could have been one and might have sold out and I might have missed it at the time. But overall, really good set. I do recommend picking it up if you can get it. The Bane in the set is pretty much... Bane and the Bat Cycle thing are pretty much the go-to on this set. And on top, you get a bonus of a extra Batman figure if you don't have one. And a whole ton of accessories for him to wield and beat up Bane with. Or at least truck every single one of them at and just watch him drop off Bane. And then Bane just, you know, beats the crap out of him. So... There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video review. And as I say in my videos, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Cheers, guys.